Okay, hello. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. I, I went back to school last fall for computer science, and I've been primarily uh, focused on that. Uh, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, experiment in VR, let alone make a video out of what I've been experimenting in. For those of you with a trained eye, you may notice that this is not the Unity 3D game engine that I'm recording in. It's actually UE4, Unreal Engine 4. Uh, the Recording the, the mirror that you're getting from my headset uh, is limited to this very vertical strip as of right now. I can go in and uh, change it, but it's going to require recompiling the engine, I believe, which, yeah, I'll, I'll do that later. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I've basically been trying to do in UE4 is pretty much experiment and see, you know, how it stacks up to Unity 3 d especially, considering that's where most of my experience is. Um, and see if I can do anything better or worse than UE4. Um, this is not going to be a, one of the engines is better than the other kind of video. I'm not even going to touch that with a 10-foot pole, but I will tell you what I found. So, in Unity 3D, my primary system of grabbing and moving objects around interact interactively uh, with the, the Vive controllers is based on manipulating those objects' uh, velocity attributes. Um, and I assumed, somewhat incorrectly, that I could translate that system I had for manipulating objects over to UE4, considering both UE4 and Unity 3D share the same physics engine. It's called PhysX. Um, it worked somewhat. The problem is, is that UE4's implementation of physics is slightly different than U uh, Unity 3D's. I'll show you what I mean. So, this object right here, oh yeah, it only works with one controller right so far, so it's this one. This object right here, I'm grabbing it the same exact manner that I grab and manipulate objects in Unity 3D. The algorithm is pretty much identical. Now, the problem you run into is that um, UE4's implementation of, of physics isn't tied directly to uh, the frame rate in the same way that Unity 3D's is. I'll show you what I mean. So when this object, which is every frame, its velocity is being recalculated to um, match the position of the controller, when it runs into an object that isn't going to get out of its way, it starts to vibrate. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how to fix that. I was warned about it by another UE4 guy who knows what he's doing a lot more than me. But I guess I just had to see it for myself. And yeah. Um, not sure how to fix that at all. So I had to move on to a different sort of system, I guess. And uh, I've spoken about it before. And it's this the system that I'm talking about is uh, creating a physics joint, or in UE4 terminology, a constraint between the controller and the object it is grabbing. And you can do that in Unity 3D2, and people have had some success with it. I personally didn't. Um, I personally didn't implement that system for a couple of reasons I'm about to get into. So anyway, so this obviously it obviously works. So you know I'm grabbing this object now. Its shortcoming is that the shortcoming of this this system is that um, it doesn't simulate weight of the object in the same way that my other system for manipulating the velocity of an object did uh, nearly as well or at all, honestly, as far as I can tell. So um, it, it does actually, though, collide with objects fairly well. A lot better than that one does, at least. Um, that one. So I'm not sure exactly what to do. Um, I guess I can figure out the constraint attributes a little bit better. But as of right now, this it doesn't really work that well. And I'll show you what I mean. This object right here is actually really heavy. and. I have its, uh, what is it called, uh, mass scale set up really high. I have its density set up on it really high and its physics uh, material. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I probably just don't understand UE4 well enough to uh, get an effective heavy object out of it. But um, as of right now, I can just, you know, uh, there's actually an object here that's invisible, so I'm going to move over here. As of right now, just the flick of the wrist, and this thing weighs like a ton, I think, something like that, like thousands of pounds. It just, yeah, it just goes, and no problem, just a flick of the wrist. Meanwhile, this object, you know, uh, I actually haven't uh, set its 
uh, rotational velo or angular velocity at all. Uh, all I'm getting is the position of this object. I don't know if you can really see it, but it is just a sphere. But um, well, I throw this guy. You know, it, it, he's pretty heavy too. I don't think he's as heavy as that one. But uh, he actually reacts somewhat intuitively. Uh, so anyway, the jointing system, it works. I just haven't figured out how to implement weight uh, in a meaningful way for the, from the user standpoint. Um, other than that, UE4 is actually pretty cool. The, the programming interface is primarily through a node graph system called uh, Blueprints, which is visual scripting, essentially. And um, really easy to use, really fast prototyping. Uh, a lot of feedback will tell you if you're, what you're doing is wrong. You know, I uh, really like it. Uh, and augmented by that, uh, uh, augmenting that system is a C++ API, which is um, actually a lot more powerful than the Blueprints. Blueprints don't have access to every feature of the engine, which I figured out when I was trying to implement um, uh, modification to an object's rotational velocity based on the uh, orientation of another object. Because you don't have as much access to objects uh, Quaternions uh, that dictate their rotation, as you do uh, in, say, Unity 3D's C# -sharp API, uh, as you in Blueprints. So what I had to do was go into the C++ API and access that quaternion. Um, and what I was doing didn't really work, so I'm not showing it off here. But just FYI, the Blueprint system doesn't have access to all the features of uh, the UE4 API. Just so you know. Um, other than that, uh, UE4 looks pretty good. I think there are some other differences with Unity 3D that I'll get into maybe in uh, later videos. If I stay in UE4, I'm planning on it uh, for the time being. We'll see what really I'm, I'm going to get into during the summer when I have a whole lot more time than just this week of spring break. Anyway, thank you for your attention. And um, if I have anything else to show you guys, I will. Thanks. Bye.